Hey guys, happy New Year's Eve. Um, so I'm gonna start tracking my ovulation. Oh, Glenn's down here playing. Um, and I'm gonna do it early on this time because I missed it last month. Um, but it's okay, it's gonna be a new year, new start. Um, actually, it's crazy because this week, uh, two years ago, is when I got pregnant with my daughter. So, um, which normally you ovulate like 10 to 14 days after your period ends. Um, but for some reason I ovulate, uh, I guess it was early. I don't know. I, because it was like five days after my period and this is two days after. So I decided I'm just going to start tracking my ovulation and see if, um, I am going to ovulate early. I don't know, but just because I missed it last month. So I went ahead. I'm taking the test right now. Just letting it go. And I will show you what the results are. Okay, so the five minutes is up. This is what it looks like. And... So it looks like this one right here. Which is negative. Lighter on the left, and dark on the right. So I will take another one tomorrow. Happy New Year, everybody! Um, it is the next day, and I went ahead and took another test. So I will show you what it says. All right, so that is what it looks like. Which that's what it looked like yesterday too. So it's darker on the right. So it still looks like this one, which is negative. So I will take another one tomorrow. So today is January 2nd. I just took another test. Um, still negative, but um, it's definitely lighter, I feel like, on the left side. So I think that it might be, um, might be positive in the next day or two. So I'm just going to continue to take them in, see when it turns out positive. All right, today is January 3rd. I just took another test and it's still... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and it's still negative. So, um, it's in between these two. It's like a faint line but yep it's still negative okay so today is january 5th um i did take a test yesterday and i didn't film it because i took it after oakland was already in bed and our bathroom is um on the other side of her bedroom and i didn't want to talk and wake her up but now i wish i would have or at least got a picture of it because the ovulation test was positive yesterday. Both of these lines were um, the same darkness. So it was definitely positive yesterday. Now this looks like it's negative again. So I don't know, because normally if it's, if you get like a positive, it's usually like a couple days that it, you know, will remain positive. So I don't know if yesterday was, something was up with that test or what the heck but this is i mean it's to me it's negative because the left side is um lighter the left side's lighter than the right which it looks like that now yesterday it looked like that <laughs> So I'm just like really confused, but whatever. I'm just going to keep taking them and see what happens because um, I have a hundred of them. So uh, yeah, sorry, that keeps getting out of focus, but um, yeah, so that looks to me like it's negative, but um, I'm <laughs> trying the Mucinex trick. Um, I saw this on TikTok, several people posted about it, and then other people were sending me um, videos about it so I'm like what the heck I might as well give it a try I've never done it before um, but and I don't even know like it it doesn't even say if you're supposed to take just one a day if you're supposed to take it um, like the box says 
I don't even know how how many hours. I think it's like every six hours or something you could take one. Um, but basically, um, yeah, just look it up. It's supposed to help with fertility for um, men and women. You're both supposed to take it. I don't know, but I've taken it two days now. And then Carlo took one. We both took one this morning. I took one yesterday and he didn't because we were going to do like every other <laughs> every other day someone would take one because um there's only six in a package and these are kind of expensive but i just got another um there's actually there was a deal at dollar general these are 550 and there was a five dollar coupon so i only paid 50 cents for both of these boxes um the other one's downstairs but yeah like what the heck it's just cough medicine cold medicine it's not gonna hurt me so we're just gonna give it a try and see what happens but <laughs> So yeah, this is January 5th and I will take another test tomorrow. Okay, so it's several days later. I haven't been filming um, the last several tests just because they've all been negative and I feel like that just would be boring to watch. So um, today is January 13th and um, popped up positive. So I thought I'd show you. Um, I thought I got a positive last week, but obviously I didn't. I don't know if it was just a weird test or what the heck, but that's definitely positive. Um, so yeah, I will probably take another one tomorrow just to see if it's still as strong. And yeah, I did. I was getting, um, I was getting some cramps yesterday and I took a test and it was negative. So, um, yeah. But today's positive, so see what tomorrow shows. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It is January 14th, and I just took another test. I just got home from work, um, got in my comfy <laughs> sweatshirt, and um, I just took another test real quick. It's been five minutes, and it is definitely more positive than it was yesterday. So now the left line, which is the test line, is darker than the right, so that is definitely positive um so that's good so i'm gonna take and i, I guess i forgot to say we did take mucinex yesterday and um i'm gonna take it again tonight um see what happens so yeah i will take another test tomorrow and see what it looks like then just got out of the shower and i took a test right before i went in <laughs> Um, so it's all done and it is positive still. It's even more positive than yesterday because um, the left side is darker than the right and that is the test line. So um, I probably am going to ovulate today, I'm assuming. Um, I don't know. I had some cramping in the morning, but then it kind of went away. So, I don't know, but uh, I'm definitely going to take one tomorrow and just see if it starts to get lighter. Because I thought yesterday um, that maybe today it would have got lighter, but actually it got darker. So, I think today is the day that I ovulated. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll take another one tomorrow. And, oh, I didn't tell you, um, today is the, what is today? The 15th, yeah. January 15th. All right, it's January 17th. Um, I didn't film last night's test, but um, I just took one and it's still positive. I think, I think this is like the third night that it's been positive. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm probably not. This will probably be my last one because it's obviously going to taper off and um but then i think i'm gonna start doing like maybe like five dpo start taking um the pregnancy tests and see what they show um that'll be probably by probably this is sunday so probably by like thursday or friday maybe i'll start taking them yeah, I think probably. So I uh, will see you then. Hello again. 
again um I, I can't remember the last time I filmed pregnancy test I think it was like two days ago um this is probably gonna be the last one that I do just because um I'm just like getting annoyed so obviously it is negative um today's like what is it it's like the it's like 10 or 11 days past ovulation and um yeah it's negative so um uh, it definitely would have showed up by now and it's not so this obviously was not the month either um it's just bringing back all of the frustration from before i had my daughter if you're new i have a almost 16 month old little girl named oakland um it took us almost four years to get her um we dealt with infertility for years and it's very frustrating and i told myself i wasn't gonna get like all worked up about it i was just gonna let let it go but i can't help it all of those feelings are coming back again and i'm just very annoyed and very frustrated and I don't want to have to do this again. I don't want to, I can't spend years and years doing this because um, I'm going to be 32 in March. So I know that's not old by any means, but um, I just, I, I don't want to be older than like 35 having kids. So <laughs> I cannot do this for several more years. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm just, I was very hopeful this month cause I don't know, I just was, but obviously it's not working out. So I don't know what to do. I'm just very annoyed and I don't know. I just kind of feel defeated. I know, we, I mean, this is only like the third or fourth month trying, but third, I think, cause November we started, I think. Yeah, November. But still, um, if you went through infertility, then you understand what I feel right now. Uh, but yeah, just want to update you. I'm sure I'll end um, this video um, with the outcome, which I'm sure uh, is going to be that I'm not pregnant. So, <laughs> but I will end it. Um, I'm supposed to start my period in like three days. So, um, yeah, I will end it in a few days probably okay so i've decided to do one last test <laughs> i really didn't want to just because they're so expensive and i'm doing the digital just so i know for sure and i've never i don't think i've ever done a live pregnancy test so i figured meh you can just do that so um this is what we're working with so i'm gonna go probably change um because <laughs> i just got home so change out my scrubs and get on something comfy and then it should be it's on the third one already it should be um done actually no i'm just gonna wait and see what it says because um i'm supposed to start my period tomorrow but i don't know i just want to know I'm, I mean, I'm pretty positive that it's <laughs> negative just because that's my track record. So I would be extremely shocked if it was positive. I mean, I want it to be positive, but <laughs> I'm just, oh, now you can see all my feminine hygiene up in the cupboard. <laughs> um, oh gosh, it's on the fourth one. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'll just film it and see what it pops up. This is so nerve wracking, I hate this. But I also hate like covering it and then coming back and looking at it because that's like nerve wracking too, so. <laughs> Uh, it does it all together freaks me out because I'm hoping for the best but also 
yeah I just don't I just hate being disappointed and yeah that's what I figured uh, okay well I pretty much figured that's what it was gonna be so <sighs> whatever it still sucks yeah it's still like a sucky situation so that is the result of December so I guess try again and follow me again next month well I guess this month really so hmm. oh so I don't I don't know if you want more videos of me doing like the whole process or since you I pretty much document everything. I literally took an ovulation test pretty much every single day. I There was like a couple days I didn't take one, but um, I tried the mucinex. That didn't work. <laughs> um, I didn't take, I didn't drink the green juice, um, which if you're new, I drink green, ju green juice, the naked, um, I think it's called green machine. I drank um, just like a small one every single day for a whole month. And, um, got pregnant with my daughter uh we like completely stopped medication we didn't do IUIs um if you want to know all that stuff I have it documented um our whole like infertility journey but um that was literally the only thing that I had changed was I drank that juice and I mean it could have just been a coincidence I don't know but um some of the stuff that's in the green juice is also recommended like in a fertility diet so um, I don't know. I think maybe it had something to do with it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just get more and try that again this month. I don't know, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. But yeah, let me know if you like, if you want to see the whole process, if you just want to see the result, if you don't want to see videos until I'm pregnant, I don't know. I just want to document the whole journey, just especially for people, um, like going through it and are like too afraid to talk about it um yeah if you're new I've literally gone through everything except IVF um we had an appointment the day before I um found out I was pregnant with my daughter so that was crazy we were gonna start talking about IVF because we had done everything else and nothing was working so um yeah kind of crazy but I really don't want to have to go through any of that again so i don't know we'll see what the future brings so yeah just let me know what how you want me to film the journey or um i guess just thumbs up this video if you liked how i did it and i'll just continue to do it but yeah i just wanted to document and share with anybody else that's going through the same thing so um yeah okay so i feel like i need to <laughs> make a correction i just thought of like what i just said and I've been wearing an N95 for eight hours and I feel like I can't think after wearing it for that long. Um, <laughs> it is the end of January. So this result was the result for January, not last month. In my mind, I was thinking this was like the second week of January for some reason. I don't know why, but it's not. It's the end of January. Today is January 27th. So <laughs> I will see you next month. And do this all over again so sorry for <laughs> confusing you if i did i confused myself so yeah anyways see you later